Hello, my little mathematicians. Today, um, we're going to go ahead and do the warm up of solving addition and subtraction equations. As always, please feel free to pause the video, try it yourself, and then unpause it and come back to check. However, um, before you do that, please practice showing the undoing step because that's the main thing that we're practicing here, okay, for when they get harder next year. All right, so now that you're back with us, let's go ahead and start to solve these. I'm going to draw a line down from my equal sign, and to get x by itself, I'm going to subtract 6 from this side, which means I need to subtract 6 from this side because whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other. I did that because 6 minus 6 is 0, and now x is by itself. And on this side, 18 minus 6 is 12. Okay, before I draw in that 12 is for sure the correct answer on my graph, let's check it. Okay, so you have 6 plus x equals 18, and I'm going to replace x with what I think it is, a 12. And 6 plus 12 is 18. 18 is 18. That's a true statement, so I know for sure that 12 is indeed the correct answer. And when you graph it, you just draw a number line with your answer in the middle, one number smaller, one number bigger, and draw a dot at your particular answer. Okay, for your next one. Um, go ahead and draw a line down from your equal sign. I want to get w by itself, so the inverse of subtracting 14 is to add 14. Whatever you do to one side, do to the other. Now 14 minus 14 is 0, so w is by itself. And 3 plus 4 is 7, 2 plus 1 is 3, so I think the answer is 37. But before I set that in stone, let's check. w minus 14 equals 23. I think W is 37, so when you check 37 minus 14, you get 23, and 23 equals 23 is a true statement, so yes, 37 was indeed the correct answer, one bigger, one smaller, and there's your graph. Okay, for my next one, draw a line down from your equal sign, subtract the number next to your variable to get it to cancel out. And whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other. Y is now by itself. Your decimals are lined up. 0.7 minus 0.3 is 0.4. And 12 minus 8 is also 4. Okay. Now you have Y plus 8.3 equals 12.7. I think Y is 4.4. So now you have to try to test that. Okay, 0.4 and 0.3 make 0.7. 4 and 8 make 12. So 12.7 is what that simplifies to, and that's equal to the other side. So true statement, which means 4.4 is indeed the correct answer. Now, you could put this as 4.5 is bigger and 4.3 is bigger, or you could say that it's between 4 and five, okay? So whichever one makes the most sense to you. All right, for my next one, I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line down from the equal sign, and the inverse of subtracting is to add 1.9. Those cancel, and then bring down your T equals 0 0.9 and 0 0.7 is 16. One and five make six, six plus one is seven, and bring down that one. So I think T is 17.6. Okay, my initial equation was here. I'm going to replace t with what I think it's equal to. And let's double check this. So 17, ah, 0.6 minus 1.9. Well, I can't take 9 from 6, so borrow. 16 minus 9 is 7. 6 minus 1 is 5, bring down that 1, and you get 15.7, which is equal to 15.7. So true statement, which means 17.6 was indeed the correct answer. And you could have put it between 17.7 and 17.5, or you could have said that 17.6 is between 17 and 18. Okay, And my next one. I'm going to draw a line down for my equal sign. The inverse of adding is to subtract. 
So subtract 3.6 from both sides. Those cancel, bring down your n, and you line up your decimals, so you need a zero right there. Two minus zero is two, seven minus six is one, five minus three is two, and then bring down your one. So I have n as 12.12. .12. Let's see if that's right. So 3.6 plus n equals 15.72. I think that n is 12.12, .12, so that's what I'm going to replace my variable with. And when I check that, line up your decimals. So let's put a zero place marker there. That's 2, 7, 5, and 1. So 15.72, which is equal to the other side. So true statement, which means 12.12, .12, is indeed the correct answer. And that's between 12.13 or 12.11. Or you also could have said it's between the whole numbers of 12 and 13. If you're getting all these correct, good job. All right, let's draw a line down from your equal sign. I want to do the inverse of subtracting, which is to add 314. So those cancel. And then whatever you do to one side, you got to do to the other. And that's 4 and 10 plus 1. 9 plus 3 is 12 plus 1 is 3. And bring down your decimal. So I think the answer is 32.04. Let's double check. X minus 3.14 equals 28.9. I think x is 32.04. So I'm going to check that over here. Minus 3.14. 4 minus 4 is 0. I need to borrow. 10 minus 1 is 9. And I need to borrow again. 11 minus 3 is 8. Bring down your 2. And you get 28.90 or 28.9 which is equal to the other side. So true statement, meaning 32.04 was the correct answer. And you could have put that between 32.05 or 32.03 or the whole numbers of 32 and 33. Okay. Congratulations, my little mathematicians. If you got all those right, some of those were pretty tricky.